afternoon landing crew. Today is a grocery haul. I haven't done this in so long. Now, of course, I give this disclosure every single grocery haul. We are a large family of eight. Um, don't mind those boxes. We are, we're, we are dealing with Christmas stuff. Four of six of our kids are special needs and they all have different eating habits. So we just try to cater to them. Clearly, not everyone eats this way, but we do show you what our real life looks like. So if you are someone that only eats healthy and it really bothers you to a point you just can't not say something to people who don't eat healthy, then this probably is not the channel for you. We also run a full business. Life just gets crazy. We have like over 100 hours of therapy a week. I know I do get a lot of comments. Oh, you should go to Costco. You should go to Sam's. I do plan on going. I have a membership, but that's not today's video. So let's get going. Many hours later. All right, guys, so we are gonna start over here. It is not super organized. It's a lot of hodgepodge. We already have a lot of stuff, but I will show you what we have. Everything we got basically is only going to last us about a week. So we got us some paper towels. Now they had some others that I think it was like double rolls, but it didn't look that way. We go through paper towels really, really quickly. We also got some chicken. Lots of chicken. I know some people have said that their chicken was inflated like in price. Ours was not. It was only about 20 cents more than it usually is, which is not bad. Um, and then we got some chicken breasts underneath there. Got lots of waffles because the kids love them. Some waffles. Man, I forgot lunch meat. I knew there were things I was forgetting. We're probably gonna have to go to King Supers anyway. Oh wow, so Danielle loves Powerade. Gatorade was something that we've really struggled with finding in the stores here in Colorado. So we did find these. I grabbed these for Danielle because they are her favorites. Then we got some, some pickles for Noah. Um, just some biscuits. I don't know if anyone else likes these, but I have always had them and they seem to do really, really well. There comes eight of them. There's eight of us. So it kind of, kind of works out perfectly. Uh, Lonnie and the kids love, 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 love the, are they cherry tomatoes? Yes, I think they are. And we got regular tomatoes, hot dogs. Um, and then we got some some sausage links that we can just throw in the air fryer. We also got some olives. Lots of olives. I have to have olives. We had everything for spaghetti except for the meatballs and Parmesan cheese I had to throw out when I cleaned out the fridge. And then we also got some bread and butter chips. Raspberries. So we actually got this as kind of like, I don't know, like a experiment to see if the kids loved them and they were gone within two days so the kids love them this is for mama yep it is for, it is for me i love it when it is holiday season time because these are yummy comment below and tell me if you like these too because i just love them got some Velveeta, Velveeta macaroni and cheese shells. I think we got another set too, but we got some of those. Um, as I explained, or I'm going to explain, we do have a lot of therapy. So we have to have a lot of food that is very quick. So we do this and just kind of make a bulk of it. The kids love the fish sticks. Um, we have strawberries. All the kids love strawberries. And then we got some, some dill pickles. All right, so this is a little bit different than our last grocery. I mean, the food's the same. <laughs> But now we have to buy like double, <laughs> double the servings just because our younger kids are eating more. So it's definitely a little pricey, but I will say that this costs us about $21, but to eat out, it costs us 50 to $70 depending. So in the end, I mean, with vegetables and all that, we'll sp probably spend about $25 on dinner, but it's still cheaper on the alternate route. We lo all love baked ziti. Um, we got some cheese lasagna right there, right there. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys. There it is, there it is, it's chicken lasagna. Now the chicken lasagna, we only had to get one of just because it does feed more as opposed to this only feeds six people. So there's that, we got some potatoes. So if we wanna make some homemade potatoes, mashed potatoes, or like potato salad. We love making potato salad. Um, Lonnie got this because he loves, he loves him some summer sausage. This is for snacks for the, the, the little ones, the littles. Um, just something quick for them to eat. 
in the, oh, here it is. Here it is, more Velveeta, because that's a, that's a staple in our house, okay? It's, it's absolutely a staple. All right, we got some, some pork season mix for some of the chicken, garlic parmesan. So during Noah's lunch break, during his therapies, he likes something quick. So we got lots of, lots of pot pies. Got some over here too. We also got some trash bags. This is not our normal one. It's smaller, but we are finding it a little bit difficult to find something. So we are just pushing through and doing the best we can with that. Tater tots, we always get these, we love these. Penelope loves baby carrots, <laughs> like literally loves them so much. This is for spaghetti. Spaghetti is a really quick dinner for us, amazing on our really busy day, which is like every day. Then we got some syrup, some misplaced 409 <laughs> um, pears. All the kids love pears. We got lots of bread. Some romaine, um, some Lunchables. We are actually going to the land tomorrow and Respite will be here. So we wanted lots of options for her. And then Lex loves these snacks for school. So we get those. Got some toilet paper. Can't live without that. We always get Angel Soft. I'm attempting to drink more water again. So I always start with getting these as they're a great transition for me. We got some yogurts. All the kids love yogurts. Lonnie got these chips. He snuck them in the basket. And then before I could even do this haul, guys, look what he did. He snuck a cookie. He did it. He did. Uh, we got pretzel sticks, uh, cheddar and sour cream chips, Cool Ranch. This is my favorite Doritos. Love it so much. And then we also have some milk, some 1% some milk, some mushrooms, more bread because we go through bread so quickly. Uh, Lonnie likes making the kids quesadillas for lunch, so he uses this and just some shredded cheese. We always have lots of shredded cheese. We got some quick mashed potatoes for again on those nights that we just don't have time to be making the, the homemade stuff. Um, Lonnie loves celery sticks. I think that's it. I don't think I'm leaving anything out, but lots, lots of goodies. Lots of just staple foods to kind of complement things we already have. We do need to make a few like trips to the grocery store, um, King Supers, Kroger's, as other people know it, just to pick up a few things here and there. But overall, um, we got everything. Thank you guys for watching our grocery haul. I hope it gave you some ideas, some entertainment. Grocery shopping is really always hard for us because even though we have in-home therapies, as I said, we have like 100 hours of therapy a week. It is kind of like we're sending our kids to school in the sense that it's, it's not super easy for them to just grab things. So th some things we do get is out of convenience. We put them in certain spots for the therapist so they have a place to go for snacks and drinks. So we just kind of make it work. We are working on, I say this every grocery haul, no one believes me anymore, it's fine. But we are trying to eat out less. We eventually started to eat out more, which I did not think was possible, but it's been a thing. So we're trying to get back to just eating out less. A lot of the foods we're getting are very much like frozen, heated up, processed stuff but it's what works for our family and works for our schedule. And I think it's better for us to have a frozen lasagna heated up than spending $50, $60 every single night for dinner. We're just doing our best. Comment below and let me know if you want me to do a Thanksgiving like meal planning and haul, if you would like to see that. Um, I feel like it's usually the same each year. So that's why I'm like, I don't know. I don't mind doing it. I think we're going to be doing it next weekend. If you like or resonate with the real raw life that I show, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our family. If it doesn't, if you're just like, no, that's okay too. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and let me know if you want to see more grocery hauls. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see.